<clears throat> oh, I'm not here. Why am I not here? That's the real question. Why am I completely absent from the screen right now? It doesn't make any sense. Because I was here a minute ago. Let's see what this is all about. Let's change this to this. No, oh, that's that's good. That's what I want. Now am I back? Hi. Hi guys. Please make something better than OBS. Someone some genius in Silicon Valley. I need I need you. Whoop. <clears throat> Yep, OBS ramp, we're done. There's a deer over there. You guys can check out this deer. I'm trying to, like, how's the dimension? There we go. And then it'll, all my finger's gonna leave. But it's back. Guys, I shaved. You see, there's a good line here. I got a good line. The hair is a little funny. I got, like, this curly Q thing going on in the back. No, 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 wait, it's this side. It's hard to see, it's in the mirror. I got this thing going on in the back, that's okay. I think my wife's gonna give me a haircut today. Morganics, thank you for your subscription. Good morning, everybody. Today's donut is a double chocolate. We've got chocolate on top, chocolate in the middle. It's delicious. And I've got coffee here as well. What's up, SD Teen Wolf, Boba Tori, Maki Rose, The Wiz, Mega Roselda, Wombo Combo, Gracie, Akatan, Akatantan, CEO of Friendship, Kite, SLSL Streams, Electric, Sakura, Scar Bessix, Mikey. This is hard to do when you're chewing on a donut. Katie Core, Aladocious, M1, Punk Wall, Marabou, Mew, Aki. Ah. Uh, today I am, I am keeping it zen. My wife bought me this mug because she thinks I'm, uh, well, not zen. And she's right. He's right. A little froggy this morning, just the, uh, so you're gonna hear me blowing my nose. <clears throat> Allergies have been super bad the last couple of weeks, and the mornings are the absolute worst. So, I'm, no, my, my voice isn't screwed up or anything, it's, it's really just allergies. This is, this is every morning. A lot of times I can't start work until like 10 o'clock. because the allergies are making me so crummy. How are you guys doing this morning? We're here for some Shadowverse. Um, I have, I've looked at my stats on Shadowverse this morning and inexplicably, I have won over 300 matches in ranked unlimited. That's a lot. I didn't really uh, get a chance to... Um... No, I did not get a chance to see the Unreal Engine 5 yet. Um, yeah, I didn't think I'd... I didn't, honestly didn't think I'd be like putting so much time into this game, but I'm, I'm really enjoying it. I think one of the things I want to do this moment with you guys is uh, I want to see if I can build a rotation deck and we'll test it out a little bit. Um... <coughs> It's rough this morning. It is rough. I'm gonna give the uh, the nose another honk here. But I'm muting my microphone so you guys don't have to hear that. That's gross. Mitching, I'm glad you took the day off. Uh, last night, I know I guys, I was telling you like I was just feeling crummy all day. I was in bed at 8:30. Like, I jumped into our private Discord, and I told everybody to go to bed. And they were like, no, you go to bed. And I was like, I will. And I think everybody thought I was joking, but I wasn't. I went, I literally went right to bed. I do not have coronavirus. I have bad allergies and have had bad allergies for the last, like, 15 years. So, yeah. I'm well rested. Can I have a donut? Ow.
So let's take a look at what's going on in Shadowverse. Um. Oh. I want to build a rotation deck. Now, the thing with rotation decks is they rotate. So a lot of times, like, I don't know what's available to me. The deck that I've been using, that I've been crushing with, although I got to say, I built one deck when I was like a, a D1 and it took me all the way to A0. It took me like nine ranks ahead and I absolutely crushed everybody. Valdane and uh, Machina is what I was thinking um, for a rotation deck. Uh, but now in Unlimited, I would I will say that like at, at A0, um, I'm hovering right around the middle of the rank. I don't really like, I'm not really getting any further. Uh, I seem to be losing just about as many battles as I'm winning. Uh, I'm unable to, un unable to beat some of the tricks because un Unlimited has a lot of like trick decks where it's like as soon as somebody shows up on the board within the first two cards they're playing, I know their strategy. Uh, and a lot of times it's just about speed, which is why my aggro deck worked well because a lot of those decks, a lot of the meta decks in Unlimited focus on building up some kind of combo, right? But if I can get ahead of them, that's when I usually win. Um, but, you know, I just wanted to try something different in rotation. Rotation's cool in that, like, it uh, it evens the odds every once in a while, taking cards in and out. Um, whereas Unlimited, if you've got a card that's particularly overpowered, like Dimension Shift, which gives the opponent, an, like, a second, two turns in a row. So if your opponent has 10 damage on the board and then uses... Um, dimension shift, it's an instant one turn kill. So, yeah, it, uh, aggro control mid range triangle. I don't know what that means. It sounds super, it sounds super, <clears throat> super wild. So, let's try building, let's try building uh, a machina. We ne maybe need to create some cards. So, let's, um, actually, I want to go back because I want to liquefy. I don't have a whole lot of vials. before we even do that, I haven't claimed any rewards. So let's take a look at what uh, card... Oops, oops. By cards? By packs? I know I have quite a bit of tickets and rupees and stuff like that, so I have no... I'm gonna, I'm gonna open my packs first. So I got six tickets. Hmm. All right. We got a legendary <clears throat> that's neutral. Well, that's interesting. Oh, that's a that's a monster card. Look at that. So if I play that when I have ten play points, right? This card gets plus seven, plus seven. And another card gets plus seven, plus seven. That's gigantic. And Ward. Wow. <clears throat> That's cool. Boom Devil sounds cool. Deal five damage to the enemy leader. Woo! I could have, I could have used that card several times. We get some discard. One of the rotation decks I think I saw in uh, for Dragoncraft was sort of a discard deck. It was a lot of um, a lot of cards that had uh, discard properties. Like when you discard a card, deal damage. When you discard a card, do this. All right, those are my only card packs. All right, so if I want if I want some good stuff. Where do I spend these rupees for on for rotation? All 
I love donuts. I really do. Good morning, Rebecca. Oh, that's what I meant. Yeah. Verdant conflict. That's what I wanted. Right. We're going to buy 10 of these. Damn. A lot of Legos in this one. But they're all swordcraft, havencraft, and forestcraft. Alright. Phoenix Howl, I like. I use that card a lot. Master Adjudicator. <clears throat> <clears throat> this is all this is all not exciting. Okay. Um We'll go ahead and buy five more. Actually, you know what? I'm actually going to buy more World Uprooted. I love donuts. Yes, I get it. I got a lot of cards. Great. Forest Craft. I've gotten destroyed by that card at least once. I've gotten destroyed by this card as well. Um, not much. Goblin Warpack is kind of fun. Alright, so back in my decks. I need to liquefy a bunch because I need some I need some dust. I need some vials. Um it, liquefy those extras, I get 2680. That's not a lot. <clears throat> so I tried rotating Stormy, but it didn't really work. So we'll try, um... It's hard because, like, the aggro deck that I like... Uh, the aggro deck that I like has almost none of the properties available in rotation right now. So it's, um, it's basically a despair aggro deck, which means a despair card are cards that deal damage to yourself in order to activate effects. Um, so, like, the cards will... A lot of them are draw effects. So, like, you deal one damage to a card, and you can draw a card. Or or when a card is dealt damage and doesn't die, it multiplies. I had a match yesterday that was, like, all one card because uh, the serpent multiplied all the time. It was, like, five, three, two um, cards. So it was cool. But Despair... Uh, disdain. Disdain. Thank you. Not despair, but disdain. But there's no disdain, like even, I don't... Yeah, there's no disdain in rotation right now. So, like, I can't build that aggro deck at all. Um, one of the cool parts was, was always feeding me cards. I was never running out of it. Uh, and so now, like, I don't really have... Let's see, what are my draw options? Last words, draw a card. Draw a card. This card is discarded, draw a card. So there's really not much. And they're all really high, uh, really all high value. Why did that get in there? Um, so I really don't have much as far as like keeping the deck, keeping what's in my hand robust enough. Um, so, I couldn't really figure out any other rotation type deck to build except a ramping, uh, Natura deck, which meant I add some Dragon Oracles, um, I add Cursed Fuhrer, I add the Terranananadon, and a Draconic Core, and that's all the ramping I can do. And so, building tree stuff 
Three. You got some of these. You got some of these for trees. You got some of these for trees. And now the deck is pretty nicely stacked in um, in uh, the, the low cards, right? I've got a lot of opportunities for trees. I've got a lot of opportunities for um, ramping. But that's it. Now, the question becomes like, how do I deal the damage with this stuff? Aladocious, thank you for the gift bomb. I need Valdane, who I don't have. Oh, I do have one. I have one. Great. So, like, that's the thing is... I only have one of them. I think he's 3,500 to create. Oops. So, yeah, I need 3,500 in order to create another one. Uh, so... Like, if I want to build this deck, I've got to go, I've got to go spend some stuff. Which I think I probably will. So then the question becomes, like, alright, so now I've got Valdane. If I pull it, great. Um, not create cards, back to collection, please. So, I've got Extreme Carrot that can, like, multiply. That's kind of nice, I guess. Um, this gains some stuff if there's a tree in play. But that's about it. So, I just don't have... Uh, I don't have the Ice Triceraptor. Um, I don't... I don't have what I need to make this deck robust. So, I'm going to add a couple of Valdane's stuffs. Cursed Shadows. Uh, it doesn't stack, right? Shadows Corrosion? Not stackable. Okay, great. So... Burp, burp, burp. Get some fives in there. And so, let's take a look at some of the other cards I just like to play. Uh, my Angelic Smite. I need them because every time I play against a Haven Craft or a portal craft, there are times where I need to get an amulet off the board. And I usually like to have three destroy spells in there, so where's crush? Over Overwhelming crush is in there too. Um, so this will be like our nature deck. And then we can build a different Machina deck later. This is an interesting guy because he gives somebody else storm so you could play a 5-5 five, five, and another 5-5 five, five, and give it storm I've seen people use Dagon in combination with this uh, with a Phoenix Roost so you got to cut all your costs down and then um, uh, yeah th th it could be interesting and it only works if you're getting up into the high play points I like having a Catherine and I like having a Shiva Dragon Guards are nice because they're warded. Jade Long Tacticians are nice because they're Storm and they do damage. And I love me some Forte. I really do. This card is fun. Athena's fun because it's protective. Uh, and where are my chefs? You're right. Dragons. Where's my Dragon Chefs? I'm going to add two of those. So we're going to call this... But our natural. And we'll actually test it in the story. Uh, I believe we're... Did we finish this one? No, we didn't. And we've got Dragoncraft coming up, so we'll go ahead and do this. And then, but, out natural. Ha! 
Ah. Again? That sound's coming from... Over there on his hill. Why is this happening? No, not yet. Before I search for an answer, I've got to... I'll battle to be with the rest of the group. Rowan! Yes, before I solve this problem, I need to fight people. Before I need to solve the problem that's causing people to fight, I need to make sure to fight more people. Isabel, you're safe. I am. Where are you going, Isabel? I want to stop it. Stop anyone from dying in this conflict. I can't stand it. Oh, in that case, we all need to... I know. I know, so don't say it now. I'm sorry. It's don't not say just what? you. The problem is... Don't say what? We need to go help people? The flames of war might have already spread beyond this land. If you say that we all need to join forces... Mm. This conflict has to be stopped. Go. That's what you have to do, isn't it? All right. But are you really Rosie sure Wolf, thank you okay, for the Isabel? host. We're in a battlefield now. Hi, the scarecrow. It's dangerous to wander around alone. <sighs> Maybe it's not my place Take this. To it's dangerous to go alone. Worried about what will happen to you in the middle of all this chaos. Rowan's hero complex just comes right out to the front. Oh. You're a woman, and I need to protect you. <laughs> Isabel. There's something you have to do, so go. I'm. St I know. Please watch out for yourself. I mentioned. Rowan's Everyone's armor is super cool. Way. I'm sorry. There's no telling. Wombo combo. Thank you for the host. And yet you're still talking about the group. You're so stupid, Rowan. He's not here anymore, Isabel. But the stupidest one of all has to be. <laughs> yeah, Rowan. Uh, Rowan. Nicola, I figured you'd be here. Guess it's only natural that you're fine. It's you. Oh, and you're here too. Me and him were playing together. Oh, well, it's that great didn't to look see like playing, okay. Luna. I think we need to redefine your definition of playing. <sighs> this has been one giant headache. No sooner does Counter Solari appear than the Blade Rites show up. Someone from Counter Solari said the False Sun was fanning the flames of war in this land. Again? No. <laughs> Make it stop! We can't just let them run amok. Then let's kill them. The only uh, solution is, therefore, violence. <laughs> Guys, I'm out of donut. And coffee. We can't let them run amok. I, I, I really didn't pace myself. We're only like a quarter of the way through the stream. All right, so starting out, I want some trees and ramps. So I've got some trees. Let's see if I pull some ramps. Nope, I pull a six play point. That's great. Oh no, forest craft. Demonstrate power. All right, still no ramping, but that's okay. I got a tree and that's the end of my turn. Uh, still no ramping, but we'll put a tree in. Got two trees in the hand. It's weird, like, whenever I play the deck that's not my aggro deck, it feels so slow. Like, I feel nervous, but, like, I can't. Like, I gotta go, I gotta go! Um. Well. I want a ramp, so I'm gonna go ahead and destroy one of these trees, pull a card. All right, so next turn, even though I'll be at freaking 14 health, I already don't feel good about this deck. All right, now at least we'll ramp up one play point. And then I guess I can evolve and get rid of this jerk. This is where, like, I see the problem is, like, I don't see a situation where I can really start to do damage. I don't have my Phoenix Howl anymore, which is a perfect way to deal with this crap. Oh, I'm so dead. 
I don't know where I'm gonna go with this. Uh, man, I guess. Let's think. Restore three defense. All right, so let's let's pause for a moment. We'll put this in here. Put this in here. Evolve him. Get some play points now. back. Got a little bit of health back. Got a little bit more health back. Drop that in there. Destroy a tree. Still waiting for my Valdane. I didn't. I didn't build another one, did I? Um. Now I got this big thing here. That's nice. Did I do a good job? No. Um. Okay, now that guy's dead. I don't like it, guys. Get some ward action going at least. And then one of these. Pull another card. Uh, still not doing great. I gotta burn all my Time evolves defensively. Gone. Don't. And now that'll boost him again. That's okay. I can I can crush him next turn. I'm not too worried. Ah, uh, here comes Valdane, and I do have enough. Mm. Valdane's definitely coming out. <laughs> you cannot escape the shadow. Now, how many have I destroyed? It's probably only four. Yeah, four. I need to get rid of. I'm gonna have to wait until next turn to play it. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. There's twelve damage on the board. Nah, I gotta do this. And... This. So that's five damage whenever I cast Shadow's Corrosion. Alright, so now it's a delaying game. I have to chill. Don't look down on me, cause I'm new! What I like about this is there's not a whole lot of cards in the opponent's hand, so I know there's not going to be, like, so much that's going on. I haven't dealt any damage yet, so I'm not really sure why you're doing that. Alright, so first thing we're going to do is play the Shadow's Corrosion. Second thing we're going to do is drop my Jade Long and start doing some damage. All right, so this will be a six, a six damage turn. Sorry, eight damage turn. Good. Okay. See, it makes me nervous waiting this long. I don't like playing the long game. I've been playing an aggro deck for, for months. I can't let the forest down. How could you avoid my trap? All right, let's see. Um, so I have five Shadows Corrosion, five. I could do six, seven, eight, nine. I'm gonna roll the dice a little bit here first and see if I can take care of that thing on the right. Nope, that sucks. Um, but I can do this, Witness the fury of my and then this, and then this, and now another six damage. Guys, I think we did it! I think we did it! All I have to do is end my turn! For justice.
Now, I feel like... I pulled through there. Yeah, that's how I feel. That's how I feel, Rowan. Um, thinking back on that deck and the way it performed, I gotta get that poisonous Dilophosaurus out of there. I, uh, I don't think I'm ever gonna use that card. I would much rather have had three Phoenix Howls in my hand so that I can I'm do broad swaths of damage. So I think that's what I'm down. gonna pull. I'm gonna pull out. Rowan, would you look after Luna? That's sure. what I had in mind. Thanks. Really, I can't shake this feeling. This feeling that something bad's about to happen. About to happen? Are you watching, Nicola? Something bad. No. Like, I, I guess are you, it's more the, like the whole city, like people are getting murdered in the streets. The, I'm a monster, that is. Hmm. The chains of balance are what kept me leashed. The guilds keep each other in check, so I wasn't able to act freely. Once those chains snap to bits, you start worrying whether the monster might start going wild. It's only natural. That's why things have to end up this way. Before I go wild and the damage gets any greater, you have to kill me and put an end to this. Okay. With that said, I'm a monster. And I can't lose. Hey, are you gonna play with me? Hey. I really can't when things are like this. We'll play once it's all over. If you don't have anywhere special to go, go check out Marlone. He should be in the temple at the bottom of the hill. All right. No, no, kill him, Rowan. I don't want to hear this, but don't die. So, <sighs> you came to stop me, didn't you? Yes. I sure hope you didn't come alone. You know me, I won't hold back, and I can't. I eat rocks. And I fight with all I've got. Your plots and plans to stop me are useless. Guys. I'm sorry. Does he eat rocks? Cycle is this life. Fight as does the serpent. Reversal of providence. The bonds inner workings. Not am I now, but the miracles reversal. Oh, he turned into the same guy. Mechanical giant, off-world anomaly, Nicola Adele. Mechanical giant. Oh, that's why his face is all cracked. Headaches. I hate the both of you. I'll squash you with my own two hands. Now, before we do that, I do want to make a little tweak here. I don't like... Easy, stop! What happened there? I don't know what I took out. Oh, I took out a whirlwind... Bring my... And back in. Okay. Um... I want to take these out. I don't use them. And I want my Howl back. I like those. And I need to make another Valdane Cursed Shadow. Otherwise, that deck is never going to work. Um, so let's save this. Let's go back to cards. And uh, let's... Uh, what? I forget which... Uh, let's liquefy cards. Selected cards. Um, what deck am I never going to... I think I've been like... I'm pretty anti-forest, so... I'm taking all the forest cards that I've gotten and liquefying them, because I don't think I'm ever going to play a forest deck. So I'm just going to uh, kill all the fairies, because you guys know my relationship with fairies is not a positive one. And I'm pretty sure that's, uh, that's one of the ones I've done before, so I can at least... Get another Valdane Shadow, maybe two. I got three of those, God. All right, and that's it. We'll go ahead and liquefy those cards. Great. Uh, now I can grab the other. Uh... I don't know how to use temporary gems. What are, I don't, like I've been getting gems all over the place. What do they do? <clears throat> I 
I'm being told to go to shop. Buy cards. Trade temporary cards. Use temporary gems to trade for temporary cards. I don't want temporary cards, though. I have a lot of temporary gems. So how long do they last, though? Okay, so I got one of those. Well, this is fun. Look at this! All right. All right, okay. We got that one already. I feel like... Okay, sure, we're just gonna buy some stuff. This is good. This is... This is good. Hulking Dragonute. That's fun. Sure. And, uh... That's, we'll stop there for right now. Okay. So, in a, a cards, decks. Is that the one? Uh, rotation. Natural butt. You've got a good eye. I'm gonna drop another one of those in there. And I need three, so I'm actually gonna go ahead and create one. Oops. Okay, now I've got three in the deck. I'm two over, so I'm gonna drop out. I'm gonna drop out one of my howls. And one of my cursed furors. Okay. No, it did work out, Mira Mira. We won, but, uh, only after much... It was just a while. It was a while. I would love to have some Shadowverse guests on. Uh, unfortunately... The world is stupid right now, and no one can speak or talk or look into anybody, and I hate it. Are you okay? I should have carried you here. Sorry. No, no, it's really okay. Where is the marsh? In this room. There's no answer. When did you last see him? I feel like if there was a candidate to carry a little girl, the gigantic lion probably was better suited than... It's always the under-marshal who deals with the marshal. All right. That's what Maisha says he wants. I see. Let me open my cloak. Are you going to break the door down? Sorry. Really, I should have been the one to... Knights serve, and they act in moderation. I know that. Excuse me, Mr. Marshal? We're coming in! Yeah! Hello, in there! Ooh. Um, Mr. Marshall, there's something that we need to ask you. Mr. Marshall. It's just a statue, you guys. It's just a painting on a wall. There's, there's nobody in it. See? You're kidding. How come? I guessed he was nervous, Vessel. And the one plotting this war. But this thing isn't a vessel. It's not even human. It's a literal puppet being controlled. Oh, this is coming from the guy who uses puppets in then, his deck. Then, where's the marshal? No, I mean. I'm Colbster, thank you for the sub. Who's the one behind this war? Ha! And kill them both. 
are you all right? Yes, thanks. Liad gave you the order. Why are all the Counter Solaris vibrating when they talk? Yes, to provide all the assistance I can. How about that? That should do it, though. Worry about Liad. Understood. You guys, you need to go get those tremors checked out, you guys. Please. There could He's be something seriously wrong with you. Us. That's the truth. Him and him alone. It's the same for me. He's... <laughs> How human you are in your growth. Your eyes have changed. I can't be bothered with you at the moment. Urias Formand. You are hunting the marshal of the order. Yumiko of Bay, Jabami. Right? What a going. You are too. Um. But why? There is no need to speak of that. Do you not sense it? That the weans have changed? Yeah. Is that Urias' way of saying that he farted? A mere diversion. Is that like is that how we're gonna say it from that? Like you fart in a room, you're like, can you not sense it? The winds have changed. And it'll be like, ah, oh, dude, no! The curtain rises. Will this spectacle be a comedy? Or will it be a tragedy? I shall enjoy myself either way. No, I'm definitely using it from now on. Every time I lay a fart, it'd be like, can you Unlike sense it? People. That the winds have changed. Here they come again. No matter how many we defeat, more appear. More like the shades the Nexus produced. Are you okay? Rowan, Luna, you are well. And you're okay too. Why, yes I am. It seems that Nicola has been quite thoughtful. I'll clear the path ahead. But before anything else... Oh, I see. However... Are you gonna stab Rowan in the back? I'm afraid I simply can't have that. Marlone. Wow, Marlone is evil? I never saw that coming. Uh, no, I'm sorry. One might say I'm, uh, finally able to read this situation. This is all that can be done. Release the third restraints. I've come to stop you. You're the one responsible for all this. No, well, strictly speaking, you and Marlone are behind this all, aren't you? She has the tiniest mouth. Mm. Mm -hmm. You and Eskimali are connected behind the scenes. Eskimali provides you with all, and you provide Eskimali military strength. Under the banner of balance and with your protection, Eskimali has been acting secretly. You've rejected our pleas, squeezed money from Magus, and more likely than not, you were interfering with Countess Alari as well. Huh? No, you were <laughs> interfering. Huh? You yeah, you're you're monologuing you pretty hard right now here. Uh, hmm. And uh -huh. you created this conflict. Uh-huh. How about that? You've really put a lot of thought into this. So this is how you want to do things, huh? That's correct. I knew there was someone else like me here. Someone from another world. And that they were operating in secret. <laughs> so it was you, Maisha LaForge. I've been hiding more than just my intentions. Oh? Uh oh? She doesn't actually need glasses. Guys, that's what she was hiding. Her vision is 2020, and the glasses were a ploy to make you think she was weak. Your power and Marlone's perspicaciousness are such thorns in my side. If I want to meet her again, I'll need to demonstrate my utility. I've already finished hunting as Molly Memmas. Countess Solari has almost been wiped out, and Magus may as well not exist to begin with. The conclusion nears. Shall we begin? Here and now, I'll become a hero. No, I want to fight. I don't. I want to test. I want to test out this deck that we built. I don't want to go through story. No, come on. If we're not gonna fight anybody, we're gonna go find somebody else to fight in the real world here. Let's let's compete with in rotation. With but oh natural. Let's see what happens. I don't wanna skip it. Because like you know, you guys wanna see the story. You guys get upset when I skip it. We'll do one fight and then we'll go back to the story. Story's fine, I just wanna fight some people. So let's see who I'm fighting here. This is the first time I've played a competitive match with you guys on here. We've got someone playing Swordcraft. Um, this one's for my family. I'm T 
typically, typically confident against Swordcraft. Again, though, I haven't played Rotation, so I don't know... Um, see, I'm already drawing not quite very good. There's, I can do nothing for the first two turns. Let's see what I pull here. See, we're all, it's all, this is gonna be bad. Swordcraft and Unlimited, I typically dominate. Here, not so much. I'm tapping out two turns in a row. This card, I hate. Hate that card. This card, um, this card is part of a trick deck, right? So this trick deck is what this person is gonna do. So when you when you clash, when you use this card to fight somebody, you take no damage. And then it also gives um your leader reduction from spells and effects. So if you ward this character, and then you add resistance to this character, you're unstoppable. There's literally nothing you can do to remove that card from the from the uh, from the board. Howl Howl will kill it, but if it's evolved, I need two Howls, and if it's uh, and if it's warded, I can't use Jade Long to attack it. Anyway. I'll face you head on. When it's played earlier in the match like this, um, it's not so bad because usually the effects, there's not enough time to, to stack those effects. Like lightning. So in this case, uh, I'll go ahead and I'll howl to clear the board. And that'll be that. But I've got no trees. There's no trees happening right now at all. I love the howl. The howl is like my... Is the only way I can deal multiple... Alright, whatever. I'm powerless Not now. a fan of this card either. I shall paint over the What's the difference? No more. Uh, yeah. So every time I drop a, a follower... But I can at least ramp here and start getting some trees. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. Um, I'll drop this. I'll drop this. I'll take the damage. I'll evolve this. Be gone. I'll get a ramp. And two play points back, but it doesn't matter. Because all I can do is put this stupid tree out there. Um... And I guess I'll do some damage, even though I can't really do too much about it. That'll help me out next turn. Yeah, like, I got I got no trees happening right now. Uh, and that sucks. So I ramped okay, and I'll be able to ward next turn. Day for a fight. And I have Catherine in my back pocket to heal when I need to. That'll take care of that. Can do? Let's see what I pull here. I've got a Traveler's Respite. So, I think what I'm going to do here in this case is I will Jade Long in the hopes that I pop this guy out. I'll add Traveler's Respite. I'll take that, get that damage back. Drop another tree in there. Um, and, uh, good stuff. Nailed it! One in three chance. I feel good about that. Here we go. So I've got some, I've got some play point advantage here that I can use next turn. I'll have nine play points. Um, I've got that smite in my pocket. In case he pulls something ridiculous out. My favorite thing to do is when, like, 
the the enemy drops like this crazy combo that puts like a 2020 character on the board and I just smite it. That's my favorite. So I feel I feel okay right now. Devotion binds our order. Are you gonna use it to kill Jade Long or are you gonna deal face damage? Uh, I thought face damage would make more sense. So now I've got some choices to make. I'm gonna wait one turn to restore 10 defense. I'm gonna drop this ward out here to buy me some time. I've got a rush guy out here that I can take care of. I can evolve the rusher. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see where this where this happens. Uh, yeah. Let's let's do this first. Right, so that didn't really help me a whole lot, but it will help me here a little bit. That's good. Um, he doesn't have enough to take it on by himself, so he'll have to clear with that. Good. Catherine's coming up next turn. Catherine's coming up next turn. I wanted to wait till her enhanced activity was available, so I drop another 10. I heal another 10 damage rather than 6. Maybe. We'll see how this is going. At the very least, I've made this uh, a little tricky for the opponent. I really like it. I really just—it makes me nervous. I'm not used to playing that card. I'm gonna smite it. My brand cleaves the darkness. Okay. I have fallen. Uh, I think I lost. I don't think there's much I can do here. Okay, so let's think. There's a chance that Jade Long will kill the Steadfast Samurai. If I, I... I can go back up to 12. Jade Long can kill Samurai, but it's a... it's a... it's a... Uh, it's a... Uh, whatever. It's a chance. So... All right, either way, I can survive another turn. And she did not. So I'm gonna have to heal, otherwise I won't make it. But I have an Evolve left. It won't be long now. Uh, and I can't, well, that was kind of dumb. All right, whatever. At least I'll make it look scary. Yeah, that's no good. That's, uh, that's 11. I'll have one damage, and I don't think I have a way to deal. Six, three, nine. I'd need to add two damage. They could go all face, right? And leave me with one, betting that I don't have something to storm them with. But there's a chance that I'll pull. That's 13 exactly. Six and five is 11. Um... Ah, crap! You're a solid fighter. So, there goes that. That deck, just like, here's like a recap, right? So we were kind of testing this deck. It did not function at all like I needed it to. I pulled no trees. I pulled almost no ramps. I didn't pull Valdane's uh, shadow. So, like, my trick absolutely in no way at all popped off. Let's see if a, a second test will will make it work. I I don't know. I'm not. I don't like. I don't like having to depend so much on a couple of gimmicks coming out. That's why I like my aggro deck because it doesn't matter what I draw. There's usually some option I have. And now I'm fighting. This one's for my family. I hardly ever fight Dragon Crown. I'll burn you alive. I love. I love her. I. She makes me happy.
Galmieu. 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 Yeah, that's definitely that's definitely Erica. Um She's a dragon craft leader. Oh, looks like we're probably playing the same deck. 100%, 100% we are playing the same deck. Here we go. Next, she's gonna pull a whirlwind. I bet it, I bet it. Drop it in, drop it in. Her cards lines are really funny. Uh, so are like her greeting lines. Let's see if I can get her to greet me, because it's funny. Reporting for duty. Cool. I'll be able to ramp again. Okay, she's playing a Machina deck. Let's actually, let's have another ramp. And, um, yeah, let's deal four damage, just, just to be spicy. Some more trees happening. She'll drop that tree. What else do I have here? All right. That didn't work out like they wanted it to, I'm sure. So you're gonna evolve, gather more play points. So this will become a 5-5 five five if I drop it. Okay, I can ramp again if I wanted to. Or since I have overflow. Let's do that as a matter of fact. So if I do three, four, yeah, let's do that. Witness the fury of Perfect, exactly what I needed to happen. That gains two, two. I feel good. Moving on. I didn't want to howl there. I got the bonus of the orb. Now I'm, I'm quite... I'm quite full here. Now, if there's no kills, or Jesus X Potion is going to this, and make play points. All right. Okay. Why evolve now, though? All right, let's see what I pull. Because I definitely have ways around this. Don't worry about it. Valdane Cursed Shadow. Ooh, this is a tough choice. This is a tough choice. All right. Valdane and the Howl... But the Howl won't do anything. Like, the Howl is just going to reduce it. If I have Athena... She'll ward. I'm gonna do this. All right, now, five, six, seven. Six, seven. It won't be long now. Ah, that was dumb. I shouldn't have done that. Easy now. Continue to believe. Okay, we're good there. That'll buy me some time. That was a long turn. There was a, there was a lot to think about there. So uh, next round, I can drop Catherine, bring myself back up to 18. We're fine here because I'm gonna absorb quite a bit of damage, which will give me enough time. How many uh, trees have I killed? 
Shadow's Corrosion. I should have only done a few. Alright. Now, my ward character is gone, but I still have the opportunity to take only uh, some a certain amount of damage here. <sighs> so, that's tough. I'm gonna heal. All recipe to end all recipes. I have this evolve. I'm Time gonna to burn it. Goodbye. Cook! Like without a cookbook? Needs more salt! Uh, I'm being a little risky here. Okay, so what I'm gonna do. If I can survive one more turn, I've got it. If I can survive one more turn. Now I'm hoping Wingless child, let it doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. I think I've destroyed at least three trees. You can't. You can't do it because I have the thing. See, that's what I'm saying. Athena is great. I will. This this will be reduced the next uh, damage to zero. So I feel good about that. That's a zero. You can't do anything. I think I've got you. Now let me think about how to do this properly. I don't even need to do the the tree the tree. I can howl. Two, four, no, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. Two, four, four. Uh, this is gonna be tough. I don't know how to... Shadow's Corrosion. How many trees have I... All right, I can't see, and that really makes me mad. That's gonna be, this is gonna really suck if I'm wrong. <laughs> you cannot escape the shadow. Damn it! I lost. Wait. If any ally to randomly destroy- That's it! No, we did it! That's the wrong thing! I did the wrong thing, you guys! That sucks! I did the wrong thing! Oh, that's bad. I can't believe I lost that. I can't believe I lost that. Howl, I don't think Howl would have worked because it only deals a maximum of four damage. I had seven there, I don't know. No, I'm dead now, I'll just do attack. That was so close, I failed math. I got so, I got so focused on the idea of pulling the shadows, like, I, I hate it, I hate it when this happens, like, just finish the match, like, why are you putting out every card you can, just deal the damage. Um, you're a solid fighter. Man. I screwed it up. Death by math. All right, guys, it's halftime. I know, I need to spend time in the homework channel. I'm confused as to how that would have worked because the warded character had nine defense. Howell would have only done four damage. Oh, sh Now I see it. Math is the enemy. Now I see it. Now I see it. Hold on one second, guys.
All right. So if you guys haven't been to a Shadowverse halftime before, uh, what we do during halftime is it's usually some kind of cool improv game where you guys get to submit prompts and participate. In this case, you give me fake card names, and I get to uh, describe them to you in dramatic Yu-Gi-Oh fashion, like this. Begin by activating my pot of green. This lets me draw two more cards. Second, I activate pot of green, which lets me draw two more cards from my deck. Then I'll activate my pot of green. This lets me draw two cards. But I'm not done yet. Next, I play Pot of Green. This allows me to take two cards from my deck and add them to my hand. I play Pot of Green. You know what that means, don't you? Tell me. Oh, you'll find out. I'm about to summon it. What does Pot of Green do? There we go. Uh... I'm looking at something real quick, you guys. Hang on. Something popped up. And it looks like I'm actually going to have to end the stream about 10 minutes early. Part of the bad part of doing it early in the day is things can kind of like, you know. Let's see here. Where are my... Alex, Trainer Trevino, if you're here, I just shot you a message. Let me know when you get a chance. Okay. So, your card. You guys submitted a bunch of cards today. I'm going to pick one out for... for uh... Dr. Senshi submits this one called Intermission, which is a callback to... Um, uh, to yesterday's Quest for Glory stream. Um... where we had an intermission. So, let me think about this for a second. I deploy the card, intermission. You're surrounded by bandits on all sides. They're coming down from the mountains, flying through the desert, sand being kicked up by the hooves of their beasts as they come towards you. At a blinding speed, their swords glimmering in the air. The air is filled with the smell of sweat and blood. You don't know if you're going to survive. Find out next time. Give me a number between two and 24. Five. Boston Cream Donut. If you were to put a card on the field called Boston Cream Donut, um, what would it do? What would it do? Hmm. Hmm. All right, okay. This comes from Amy Lee. The previous one came from, sorry, I usually announce them. Where is it? Previous one came from Dr. Senshi. I deploy the card, Boston Cream Donut. This card comes from Massachusetts. It sounds angry all the time, but it's not. It's actually quite pleasant. And the best part about it is when you play this card, you get a bonus. Inside this card is something even tastier than what's on the outside of this card. It's Boston Cream. You gain plus eight donut points on your next turn. It's weird that of all the, the cards that I was uh, figuring out, like I can't, I love donuts, 
And this tripped me up. Donut wise. I feel like I should have been better prepared for donut questions. Give me another number. Twenty one comes from Kate Core. The last piece of pizza. I deploy the card, the last piece of pizza. When this card comes onto the field, all of the enemy cards start fighting over it. By the end, only one enemy card will be remaining, but they're gonna get that slice of pizza, which does give them plus one, plus one. But all of the other cards on the board are dead. Food's important. Give me a new number. What was the number? Did you hear? What was the number? 18. Uh, AV, a very, uh, Ava. <laughs> Plays the card. When Judith calls you boy. Hmm. Welcome to the stream, Averia Ava. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Okay. I deploy the card, Infantilization. When you deploy this card, Judith calls a grown f man a boy. Two things can happen. One, you shrink down and become the boy that you're described as. Or two, you buck up like an ape trying to figure out. No, don't call me little. I'm a big ape. And then you do this weird act of violence that only proves further that you are indeed on the inside still a boy. This next one comes from Con Conquiel, uh, which is a, uh, uh, this is a, um, a reference to my books, The Epic Family, Epic, Epic Failure Trilogy. I got a lot in my brain right now, um, and it's, I need to focus. The Roger Rogers maneuver isn't really like a maneuver so much as it is a joke about the droids, so... All right, I think I think I can figure this one out. Boop, 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 boop. Um. Okay. I deploy the card, the Roger Rogers maneuver. Whatever you're doing, you say, f and you try to figure out a way to give your job to somebody else. So that's, that's what the card does. You take the card and you give it to somebody else to figure out what to do. In this case, Accioline is going to come up with the card definition for Rogers Rogers Maneuver. And I bet right now in her head she's saying, Expletive, expletive, expletive. So now we're all going to wait for Aki to come up with the card name because the essence of Rogers, R. Wilson Rogers, is that he wants to give everybody else his job. Pressure's on, Aki. We're gonna come. I'll, I'll do. Uh, I'll, uh, I'll come up with a different one in the meantime. Pachki. Mira, Mira submits the card. Pachki which I'm excited about. Obviously the A. Yeah, if it was really a Rogers Rogers, Roger Rogers, Aki would pass it along. She'd, she'd shirk the duty to somebody else. In the meantime, I deploy the card, Pochki. 
A young Polish girl emerges from a bakery holding a bag. You can smell it as it comes closer to you. It lures you in like a siren song. And you know that you're supposed to be eating not so many carbs. But f because there's pochki in that bag. In your desire to get the pochki, you run forward, trip on a curb, fall over, and die. With the taste of pochki in your mouth. So it's okay. We are not eating carbesix, guys. Ah, see, nice. Aki says the Roger Rogers maneuver is Aki pulling an Uno reverse card at uh, Joe Zija. Unfortunately, I, I'm just, I'm far too busy to do it again. I've got all these other things to do. Oh, well, uh, okay. Um, I deploy the card. Tree hug. You're wandering through the desert and you find a tree against a mountain and you give it a hug. The tree turns around, its face staring deep into your soul, and you think it's love. But f no! You hug the tree without asking first. You don't do that. You don't do that. Okay? You ask permission before you hug somebody. Sorry, the stream is cringe. Zero X. I don't know what that means. Uh, oh, I see. Sorry. Now I get it. Um, give someone give someone give Zero X a pochki. That came from Carbesix. Uh... Let's see. We'll do one more. Give me a give me a, a um number. Winchki. Number four comes from Catherine. Do you have access to the to the spreadsheet? Because this is the second day in a row you name something and it's yours. This one comes from Thunder Catherine. Who's freaking me out? What the f I deploy the card, Rico Screwdriver. Before you stands the Hadron Collider, the most complicated piece of machinery ever known to man. Miles long, miles and miles long. Quantum physics oozing from the seams. It's broken. But you have Rico's screwdriver. All you need to do to fix the most complicated machine in the world is give it two turns of a Phillips head and that Hadron Collider has been repaired. And OBS seems to have frozen. Let's see. Uh, discard the changes. There we go. Let's do it, mod. Let's give away a print.
Type Roger in the chat, Roger in the chat to enter the giveaway. All right, let's close that up. You know, it's expensive to ship around, but I do it for you guys, so whatever. Yeah, anybody can enter a print. And it's most of the time, it's not so bad. I think the worst it's been for me to ship is like 15 bucks. Congratulations, me in the woods. Me in the woods is the winner of the print. Gordon Morgan, all is good. For me in the words. Make sure you get in touch with a mod and let them know who you are and where you are in this wide, wide, beautiful world of ours and what you would like on the print that I'm going to send you. Yay! Um, so the, uh... Just so you guys, uh, if you are interested, we talk, speaking of prints, yesterday I put a poll out trying to figure out which um, which of my Claude prints are going to be the one. Right now, it's looking very heavily like number three, which is the one where I'm reclining in the circle. Uh, after that, it looks like number four or six. Um, so, those are the ones. I'm not sure. Uh, maybe I'll print two of them. I'll print the, the, the top two. But uh, there are only four hours left in the poll, and surprisingly, there's only been um, about 4,000 votes, 2,000 votes on there. Uh, so if you head over to my Twitter, you can vote now. We're going to do one more match, and then we'll head over to Schmo Land and Schmo Battles. I want to... I want to... Um, I want to test out this deck one more time. And maybe not f it up by not understanding math. Let's see who we're fighting here. So we've got Bloodcraft. I don't know what the Bloodcraft rotation decks this are looking like right now. Family. A lot of times uh, there'll be Prepare a lot of Storm in Bloodcraft. Um, all right, so we got some good rampy, rampy stuff here. It's higher play point. It's, um. Let's let's pause on that core for right now. That didn't help me at all. Mocking a blood, maybe? We'll find out real soon. Oh good, I pulled a feral either. Now I at least have a ramp on turn three. I won't hurt you. Good. A free two damage, but that's okay. Uh, I am playing a real person. Good stuff. Okay, pulling the Valdane so we can start blowing through some trees. The, the trouble with Bloodcraft is the Bloodcraft decks tend to be fairly fast. Must become a demon to kill a demon. See, now we've got a lot of storm going on. I don't think I'll I don't think I'll survive this. Uh, I can howl and clear the board, which I will do just to protect myself. And um bring it down to something a little more even. Great. Now, next turn, I can actually throw out two Whirlwind Pterodactyls uh, and ramp one, which is cool, and I'll blow through another tree. So we'll see how they respond. The 
depending on what they throw out, I think I'm always thinking about my next turn. I think what I'm going to do next is I'm going to throw out both of these um, whirlwind pterodactyls. So we'll probably evolve to kill or an armored bat. Enhance against someone to no. We're all good there. It's very surprising what they chose to do there, um, and it's not going to be super good for them. So that'll summon a tree. Oh, no, it's last word summon a tree. So I want a ramp. I do want a ramp, so I'm, I'm, uh, normally I wouldn't do this. That'll pop a tree in. This will pop a tree out. That's good. Um, I will evolve for the extra damage. Be gone. Bye, Just Dust. Thanks for stopping by. Now I've destroyed three trees, or two trees. Um, what I think I'll do... Hmm. Summon a blood flood behemoth and give it ward, that's no problem. Are you gonna evolve? Let's see. That's difficult. <clears throat> yeah, I'm, you know what, like, with holding Don't off on so vengeance good. sometimes, I'm just not, like, I'm not as careful as maybe I should be about it when playing Bloodcraft. Um, again, I'm used to playing the aggro, aggro deck, so, oh, jeez, that hurt. Uh, that'll clear, that'll clear the board. Oh, there's so many trees on the board. Okay. Um, do I crush and evolve? I do. That's what I do. Okay. Crushing. Popping this out here. <laughs> you cannot escape the shadow. Gonna go ahead and pop him open so that he now. can kill this character. <laughs> I curse take Bane! I lost you. Alright. Unfortunately, now this little midget can kill my, my Valdane, but Shadow's Corrosion's coming up. This is, this is difficult. Okay. Um. How many have I done so far? Two. I'll get a third. Wings of Quicksilver. I bid you awaken. Shutting down. All right. Verifying access. So what I can do access. is I can start delaying. Uh, I'll throw this Shadow's Corrosion out. Your flesh. Um, I can... drop this in here... I as a delaying tactic. Sky. I'll even evolve him. And then Time drop, uh... Gone. I'll need Feral Aether. So that's good. Uh, now I can actually start restoring some defense. This should be a pretty effective delaying tactic, and I have another one in my pocket, so let's see. I don't have any more ways here to destroy those trees unless I pull some more pterodactyls, but I think I pulled all the ones that were in my deck. I don't think Bloodcraft has a whole lot of, like, um... Destroy a follower card, so I think I'm fairly safe. Mods, make sure we've got someone queued up to battle me here, as uh, I hope to be done with this fight here in a... in a couple of seconds. 
Shutting down. Shutting down. Yeah, you're gonna have to totally clear. Not totally surprising. There's another one. That's okay, because I have another ward. My goal here is to delay. Now that's interesting. I don't know why that person decided to do that. So I think the first thing I'm going to do is I need a little bit of healing. Um, I'm gonna throw another... No, I'm gonna howl! I'm gonna clear the board! Stop me. And draw a card. I seem to have lost. That was it. I only did what I had to. I was definitely about to end the turn, by the way. Just so you know. I was definitely, like, not paying attention. This is way harder when I'm playing with you guys. Like, when I'm playing by myself, I'm very focused, but it's way harder. I was definitely about to click end turn and completely f*** that up. Uh, okay, so we're going home. But we did it. So that deck is much... It's not as satisfying as the aggro deck because it's just like, bah! um, so let's do it. I've been asking everybody to create unlimited decks, so that's what we're going to play today. Um, unless we agree on something else. Oh, wait, no. I made a mistake. Private, create a private match, regular, create match, unlimited. Um, let's see here. Who have we got? I gotta jump in voice chat, which I haven't yet. I will do that right now. Amazing Mirror is the first schmo in the schmo battling. We may only get two schmoes in today. Uh, voice oh. and video. Hey, 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 hey! Oh, alright. Sweet. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Great, I can hear you, chat can hear you. It's all, all wonderful. Right. And all okay. right. uh, So we are playing every... we're playing unlimited. I can switch it to, to rotation if you're really passionate one way or another, but I've been telling everybody to make unlimited decks to play, so uh, no, that's, uh yeah no I'm good with uh unlimited. Sweet. Match ID is one eight zero eight one. All right. I am so... Uh, all right, I guess I'm ready. <laughs> Sweet. You're not in Israel, are you? No, okay. but I just... Saw the flag. Yeah. I spent a lot of time there. No. Oh. This one's for my family. Yeah. Um, I Mother, haven't really Father. been that much, but... Come on. It's beautiful. I love it there. Yeah. Okay, I got an okay draw. Not my favorite kind of draw. Yeah, same. But I get to go second, so. I'm really great. All right. Let's teach you how powerless you are. And let's see here. Really. Great. Some shadow craft going on. What's this? At the start of your turn, give a plus one, plus one. Okay, cool. Um. Huh. Evil. 
that out. Blue man, thank you. How long have you been playing uh, Shadowverse Mirror? Um, like. Oh, I'm, that was uh, dumb. since I started watching your stream. Okay, so, cool. I guess like a couple months ago. I made a dumb mistake. Well, not so much a mistake, just a missed opportunity. I really have nothing I can put out. That's rough, man. <laughs> That's rough. What's going on right there? Know that. Teach you how this is going to get real rough real fast if you can't put anything on the board. <laughs> Holy <laughs> smokes. Like, this is, this is rough. Oh, shoot. I'm like, I'm, I'm double ramped with a stacked field here. This is... Come on, man. Uh. Oh, perfect. I hate that card. <laughs> so what can I do about it? Let's see. I'm going to just... I think that's I think that's uh, the right way to go. Yeah. Oh shoot! Well, you should have oh, used it. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! That's bad. Uh, that's bad. I'll show you the I did not prepare as much as I should have. Let's see. So it clash deals three damage to the enemy follower, so I could do this. This is exactly what I'm gonna do. Okay. You'll accept me. Uh, I'm so nervous. This is rough. This is very rough. It won't be long now. Um, let's see. Yeah, I guess I'll do this. Oh boy! Oh boy! And adding insult to injury, the new, the new serpent drink. Ah, uh, crap. Uh. Now this is when, like, this aggro deck performs incredibly. It ramped, it multiplied, it used disdain to draw cards right off the bat. I'm here to save the day. Duh. Good. That's Should good. I yeah. Oh, you got. You should have evolved and used it to. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. That's 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 all. That's yeah. all she wrote. Time to say goodbye. Yeah. That's that. That's the game, isn't it? Yeah. So if you had used her to evolve and clear somebody, you would have restored two defense. I can't remember the math now, but you might have yeah. you might have bought another turn. Yeah. Well, Mir, thanks for playing. Yeah. That was that was a rough one. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, thank you. That's all right. Thanks for playing. Thanks for being a schmo. Have an awesome day. You too. Next up is Megu Dragon. Hello. Hi, Megu. Hi. How are you? Good. I just need to mute the stream and get away so I can not hear you twice. So you can destroy me. I like your little Hopefully. token, your face token. Who is that? Is that Flalock? Okay. I have no idea. I, I just like dragons either. and That's I thought cool. it was cool, so. That is pretty sweet. How long have you been playing Shadowverse? I see you've ranked up a little bit. A, D a little bit, yeah. D2 or something like that? This one's for yeah, my I've been family. playing since... I have to act. I guess it was April... 1st? It was the first stream I watched you play Shadowverse. Okay, cool. And then played since then. Well, let's see. It's Rowan playing Rowan playing Rowan right now. Yeah. So I'm excited about that. Yeah, it's the only deck, the only like decks I really enjoyed playing. So. Okay, and uh, I'm tapping out as well. Nice, solid ramping. Playing this is that 
we play, we both know all the cards, or most of the cards in the deck. Say that again? Oh, I say the only thing with this is we both know the... Um, yeah, I'm very familiar. Dragoncraft, yeah. I've seen a couple of Dragoncraft players that surprise me, like with some of the stuff that they do, it just doesn't, it's not as uh, predictable, I guess. Yeah. Right on. And when you started playing the, or making the Natura deck, I was like, well, I'm playing the exact same deck. Yeah, that's it's it's good. It's a good deck. It's just it's a little bit of a long game sometimes with Natura. Yeah, I know. Blue Man's asking about a Phoenix Roost meme deck. I I tried the Phoenix Roost deck for a while. Have you tried playing that card? Uh, I don't have it, so it's, I can't. It's actually—I don't even think it, yeah. it's that expensive to create, but it has all your play points. But it also has yeah. the opponent's play points. Yeah, I played someone who nice. was playing Roll it. Oh, I should have the other one. Oh, well. No big deal. Let's see. What can I do? This is weird because now I can't hear the game music. I can only hear you talk. Uh -huh. know that. Be gone. I'm not getting any rampage at all. You I will try to pull some more cards. Your head okay, that wasn't super helpful. It was, it was really not helpful at all. Okay. Fantastic. Hmm. Nice. There is no be gone. Um, what's your last words? There are no summon on a Terran great tree. I'm gonna rob you of that because you made me angry. So I'm gonna banish that card instead. I hate when people do that with the trees. And here comes Goblin. He's feeling hungry. So your deck is based on having a lot of low cards, is that correct? Um, it does tend to be very fast, yeah. I have a lot of, like, ones and twos, and then I have a lot of sixes. So sometimes, like, I'll really get in a jam where I'll, like, I'll draw a bunch of sixes and I have to tap out four turns in a row. That's happened to me a couple times. Okay. Um, what do I want to do? Nice. Get some stormy action going. Witness the fury of my curse. Oh, you're really, really well ramped here. I am not. Yeah. I'm very much not. I find with the tree deck with the um, pterodactyls, that helps a lot. Yeah, it does. I also happen to draw fairly okay, which helps a lot. Part of the cards. I don't really have a good plan for the next couple of turns. It's a, I've got a weird mix, weird mix in my hand. <laughs> and you are very solidly ranked. Just gotta think what I'm doing, because I'm not drawing what I want to do. Nice. And Sybil's nice, too. I'm gonna get up my ten orbs, and I heal myself. <laughs> Now, let's think. I feel like going against aggro decks, the biggest thing is you just gotta keep wiping the board. Yep, you gotta get, get everything off the board, and then a good other approach is uh, warding. Yeah. So let's do this. This deck sadly doesn't have a lot of ward, though. This. So. And this. Okay. Feel a little more comfortable, I guess. 
I'm not getting what I want at all. You got a lot of you got a lot of ammo in the chamber, that's for sure. Yeah, but not what I want. I feel you. Let's see, what can I do here? Okay. Okay. Might as well. One, two, three, four. What to paint? What to catch? All right. Oh no! I have too many cards in my hand. Let's uh, right, let's fix that. that. Let's fix that. Um, know that. I find this, I have the same problem with my deck. If it's draw, you end up drawing a lot of cards, and it's based on drawing a lot of the cards. Especially with the trees, they basically replace the cards that you destroy. Okay. Power is useless. The fury smart. Again. Super smart. Hopefully, we don't have too many storm cards. I'm gonna, I'm gonna bet a little bit here. Um. I really don't like Forte. <laughs> Okay, I'm My certainly about to present you with a problem. Stop. Yeah. Okay, how's the best way to do this? You gotta get Forte out of there. There you go. Uh, gone. Nicely done. Also nicely done. Very smart stuff happening here. Very wow. smart stuff happening here. And we'll see how far I'll go now. Uh, I'm not mm. getting the card I want, though, which is making me unhappy. <laughs> I also spent the whole time when you're doing the stream basically re-editing and re-changing my cards about 20 times. Okay, what I can do... Jeez, let me think here. Really put me through the paces here. Okay. Tree back. Hmm. 
This is a hell of a game. Yeah. Nice. Can I heal myself again? Effective healing. And get rid of the bird again. Love that bird. Play some trees. Busy at points. Nice. Far, let's go. Boy, I am pulling. I'm pulling crap here. All right. Um. Blame Aki then, because she said she was trying for me to to pull well. See if I can't eke out some. Okay, all right. Hmm. Why won't it give me the part I want? Keep burning the burning the trees. Burn those trees. We're gonna take down the whole forest here. Holy crap! Still not getting what I want. Oh um, no. Okay. I need You follow behind. Smart never be over. <laughs> you have no idea how lucky you just made yourself. You have no idea. You have no idea. I would have. I would have crushed you. You challenge me. Easy pickings. But not quite. Not quite. Just hanging it on there. You won. I could have, I could have delayed. I could have, I could have uh, Phoenix howled and done some stuff, but you won. I think if I'm doing math right, which I've been known to not do right. I'm one point short, but I'm not going to be in two seconds because I finally got the card I wanted. Oh no! Uh, no, you weren't one point short. You just needed to evolve a follower. You had that evolve. You could have you beat me there. You had lethal in a couple ways. I just want to do it this way because I like to do it this way. It's fun. And... That's it. I literally have a card in my... Like, that heal was it. I had a card. I would have wiped you. Congratulations. That was a great game. Thank you. That was fun. Yeah, that was a fun I... game. I happened to pull the right cards. So it was great. It Heart of the fun. cards. Make sure you get in touch with yeah. the mod so you get your print. Yeah, thank you very much. Sweet. Okay, guys, that was it. That was a fun stream. I have to, like, race out of here um, to get to a session that's starting in now four minutes from right over there. Uh, so I will do so. I will see you tomorrow at four, four o'clock for some Just Cause 4 action, which I'm excited about. I'm gonna find somebody in the Shadowverse world to see if there's anybody that we can raid real quick. Uh, and there's nobody. So, let's raid uh, someone from Fire Emblem. You guys know what to do. I'm gonna pick someone real quick and just, just pop it in there. Uh, we're gonna raid this person. That's it. Okay. I will see you guys tomorrow. Roar for Dragon Crap. Bye. Ah!